Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. This one a break from my uh, calculus series, and just basically giving you a simple little uh, tip on how to tell which fraction is greater. Uh, sometimes you, as simple as uh, it might seem, it's one of those things. So I've got a couple of fractions here. Uh, let's start with an example, and I'm going to get you guys to tell me which one is greater. So 7 over 12, or... 3 over 4. So a couple different ways we can do this. Uh, so if you're on a test and your teacher gives you a calculator, then that's what I'm using first. So uh, I would simply go 7 divided by 12 and you get a decimal 0.583 repeating and then 3 over 4 0 decimal 75. So obviously 3 over 4 is the bigger fraction because of the decimal. Now there's a pretty high probability that your teacher is not going to let you use a calculator if you have such, such a thing on a test. So, then what you have to think about doing is finding a common denominator. Okay? Common denominator. So, there's a couple different ways we can do this. Um, and again, for a question like this, it doesn't necessarily have to be the lowest common denominator. So, if I'm looking at 12 and 4, then one of the things I can do is actually make a little list. So, if you're not good at making common denominators, then all I'm going to do is show you a little cheat to be able to do that. So, make a list of your denominator. So, start with 12 and 4, and then 12, and then add another 12. So, another 12 would be 24. And you can continue this list as long as you need it. So, I know what the common denominator is, and then, uh, so I'm not going to continue the list. So then we start with, again, we'll start with 4, we'll add another 4, which is 8, then we'll add another 4, which is 12, then we'll add another 4, which is 16. So as soon as you get something to repeat in this list, that is your common denominator. So right there, 12 and 12, so that must be my common denominator. So if I look at this 12 right here, uh, it doesn't have to change because that's in my denominator already, so I only need to change this 4. So you've got to ask yourself the question. 4 times what gives me 12? So the thing about the, this list method, it's always the number that you have, the number of the spot. So if I look at this, 4 is the first number, 8 is the second number, 12 is the third number. So that means that 12 times 3 gives me 12. Now, of course, you probably just knew that anyway. But that's a, you know, a systematic way of doing it if you have numbers that are kind of tough. So now what you want to do is you want to take this 3 and times both of these guys by 3. So the top number and the bottom number by 3. So if I do that, I can rewrite this guy so 3 times 3 is 9 and then 4 times 3 is 12. So I rewrite them with the uh, common denominator and see that my biggest number here is on top. So therefore that means that 7 over 12 is less than 9 over 12. So the fraction with the biggest number on top is always going to be your greater fraction. So therefore, 9 over 12 is my biggest number. All right, guys, so I really hope this video helped if you were struggling with uh, how to determine which fraction is greater. Common denominator is always your answer. Uh, see you guys in class, and thanks for watching.